this, though, at the moment, because obviously we're not going to be able to do much until we get those fields going and get those contracts completed. So we will at least get this all set up. That way we can do the swap out on the headers and then put it onto the other machine. send a couple AI down the road with our setup here. And then we will meet the combines there at the field that we decide to start at. May want to consider at some point trying to get a pup trainer for that semi-truck, but at the moment not a necessary need to keep everything going. For the time being, we can survive without a pup trailer. Let's go through and get these lined up and ready to roll. Sucked up, we will evaluate which contract will go ahead first. It is only 9.29 in game currently, so we do have quite a bit of opportunity to be able to actually complete all of these contracts out before it's too late. Which means we could have the possibility of taking up another set of contracts. second day in September if some do come available. Which would be fantastic. That would mean we can get quite a bit more money into our bank account and keep all of this going. So let's get these guys lined up. Find out which field we want to go to. I do believe our one contract is for should be for field nine. I'll let that game save there. We will address what our sorghum count is for our leaders once we actually have it finished. No, those are field two and field six. Field six would be a very quick one to do. Then we can get both of them over to field two. So let's see. Field two is going to be down there. Field 6 is going to be literally right down the street. So what we will do is we will send this combine here up towards field 2. That way we have both combines there and ready to go. Doing field 6, which honestly should not be that bad. Just that one combine. As long as that worker does not stop because of an engine malfunction or anything, <laughs> or you know, is uh <laughs> not drunk driving, you know, with the freaking combine. <laughs> seen somebody try to drift a combine before, but oh boy, sure as heck looked like that guy was trying to. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a lovely sight to see. Oh no, we just sent, okay. Well, I mean, we can at least get him going then, I guess. Because I didn't realize we are driving with the old combine right now. <laughs> Unfortunate timing on that. It is what it is. We can still work with it. There's no point to send that worker back down this way. We're already right here with this one. We can probably easily knock this out. So we'll get everything queued up here, get everything rolling. 
should start working on getting these contracts done, which will be very, very nice for us. So what I'll do here is we will do a time lapse of getting this field. Well, we at least got the sorghum harvest done on field six, but uh, we have a serious problem now. We are now officially dead in the water with this combine. So we are going to have to see about what exactly we are going to do. We'll at least go through and get that sorghum harvest done for that contract for that gentleman. I mean, I literally, we died right before we went to the crossroad there to be able to go across the street to the farm, and literally, I was barely able to get it started up long enough to get across, and now it is not starting. So, we will have to figure out what exactly we're going to do, and how long it's going to be before they can even get out to even transport it, because we obviously cannot take it into town with what we have, which is very unfortunate. I have a feeling that's going to be a very expensive repair. Honestly, if I would have known this would have been such a problem, we would have addressed it before this had occurred, but there is unfortunately not much we can do at this time. They, didn't, they had no time frame for us on when we were going to get it back, really, besides maybe October. If we were to have dropped it off, they didn't have the time to have someone come out because they have their own you know, contracts that they have with people about coming out and preparing the stuff and giving them loaners and everything. So, we're in a scenario right now. Not much we can do. Besides, let that sit where it's at. We'll have to move the trailer at some point. And we will have to leave it there until somebody can come pick it up and get it done. So, let's take a look here. Let the game save. We have to run that. 
for field six to the feed store. So let's go in and figure out where the feed store is. And we can head out there and at least get that first contract done. The feed store is over by where we're actually wanting to go. So that is fantastic to at least know. So we can just go ahead and head out that way with the truck and uh, at least be literally right across the street from where we need to be to be able to start the next contract, next episode. So there's one thing with doing this RP series, and that is trying to keep the flow of it going. It's interesting because this is, I mean, like I said in my first video, the first time that I have really tried to make an attempt to do this. And I know. Yeah, I might not be the greatest at it as the next guy or some of the people that have been doing this for quite some time. But I mean, you gotta start somewhere, unfortunately. And you never start at the top when it comes to things, so... Work with what we got. Start where we are. Who knows, maybe this will become a thing that I can do more on a regular basis as time goes on. Maybe it stays as it is, as a once a week or every two weeks that we go through and have a video up. We'll uh, really see. Because, I mean, this could become a thing that I'd like to do a lot more of. Be able to do more videos released each week. So, could be an option. Also could be an option we could cut down on episode lengths a little bit and make them a little bit shorter. It all just depends on whatever it wants. That I also kind of want to talk about inspiration for a minute. For what has given me the inspiration to finally make this leap. So... There's a lot of things that, in general, with life, it, it's just, it's not easy. And finding the proper inspiration and proper person to kind of, like, give you that nudge, even if they don't, you know, seem like they realize that they're giving you a nudge, tends to help certain people along quite a bit. And... Part of where my inspiration comes from to finally do this is from a gentleman named Farmer Cop on YouTube. Watched his stuff for a while. I have you know, really enjoyed his content. I know there are quite a few other people that enjoy his content. And he honestly is my initial inspiration to finally make a true, like, and actually doing this. Because honestly, I have never really attempted to try to make an honest try at doing this at all. So this is, you know, partial, like I'll say, partial thank you to him off the bat for giving me that inspiration to do what I want basically what I've thought about doing for a while and just have never made the plunge. Whether he sees it or not is totally beyond me, but either way, if he does, I just hopefully hope he knows that I really do appreciate it and a little bit of advice that he has given me to really start this off and start this off on the right foot. Well, well, at least
least the good sign is the AI worker did not uh, <laughs> did not crash the thing worse than what he already did. So we will at least get this set up. All right. I'm going to go on and address a very obvious elephant in the room very quickly. And that is obviously going to be the difference in the audio quality that we're going to be having in the second half of the episode. So, initially the rendering was coming out a little bit different than what was actually being, you know, rendered and put out over onto YouTube. So, I did not initially realize that right off the gate until talking with a couple people that have viewed the episode that I personally know. So, I'm going through and doing things a little bit differently for the audio recording side, along with how the video is recording as well. Also changing a few things with the rendering setup, that way things work a little bit more smooth compared to what originally we had. So, I figured I would just address that right out the gate. That way, it was basically acknowledged and known, hey, I do know that this occurred. I unfortunately didn't get to catch it until the first half of episode 3 was already recorded. So, tentatively, from here on out, we should be plugging along at a, a lot better just general setup on how everything's running where I can not only adjust the individual audio side for my mic but also adjust the actual independent game audio accordingly if need be. So I'm just gonna have you guys sit back and relax we'll do a quick time lapse of getting this contract done for the soybeans which yes I've, I've realized I totally bashed that on the uh, earlier portion of a couple of other episodes saying that uh <laughs> it was more sorghum is what it is like i'll tell you guys i will tend to keep most of my fob ups in here unless it is a blatantly obvious hey it is a completely incoherent sentence that's being said otherwise i'm gonna go and have you guys sit on back and relax we'll go through and do this Harvest real quick, get this done, and we will proceed forward from there. If there's enough time at the end of the episode, we may get the issue of our other combine figured out to at least get that up to be serviced. So, I will bring you guys right on back in once I am done with this contract. <laughs>
So we will go dump this off. And we will figure out how we are going to go about getting that back onto the trailer. sell off all the extra soybeans and everything that way we can get a little bit of extra money off this contract here should help out in the long run by quite a bit instead of just sitting around with the soybeans just in the silo next episode we are going to more than likely start looking at the possibility of expanding our possibilities of getting money throughout the year. So, I'm considering the notion of going through and doing chickens as a source of basically extra income for us. So we will more than likely start looking at that in the next episode. Because during the winter months, besides if we get lucky to pay off our debt for that lawnmower, which I don't think we will during this winter when it comes up here soon, we are going to have little to no income coming in unless there is any like field work. What I'm going to do right quick is dump the remainder of what is inside of the harvester into this truck. That way we can take care of the remainder of these soybeans that need to be sold. Then I'm going to see, before we part ways, if we can have somebody come up and take the other combine up to the store that way we can get that sent in for repair because that we still need to get taken care of I don't imagine we're gonna get that harvester back anytime soon I imagine they'll probably start looking at it sometime during the winter if they have the time otherwise I think we are pretty uh, pretty out of luck on that at the moment but the bright side is we are unless we decide to pick up any extra contracts we are out of oh, didn't uh think i was gonna do somersault there but hey combine somersaults that uh <laughs> would have been an interesting uh outcome there let's try to put this back on that trailer again There we go. Alright. So I'm going to go and dump off the remainder of the soybeans here. Once I get that combine on its way. And then we will reconvene back up at the farm. And see about getting a tow truck or something up there to be able to tow that out of the spot that it's in. Because right now, it is inoperable, it's not movable, we have to get repairs done. And kind of, you know, hard to do repairs where it's sitting at. Right up against a fence and, you know, inside of a couple little divots in our yard. So, I'm going to get this combine going with a worker to get this back down to the farm. And then I will bring you guys back in in a moment. Alright, so I just got done talking with him after he got everything hooked up. So he's going to be leaving here in a minute. He already gave me the invoice for going through and coming to do this for me. So they work directly with the city of Elk Mountain, so their payroll is through them. So we are looking at $1,084 for our amount that we owe them for coming to pick this up between mileage and being able to pick it out of where it was and towing it to its destination. 
So I'm just going to pay this off right out the gate so we don't have to worry about that with them anymore. That's all taken care of. And he's going to get out of here in just a minute. As are we. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Consider giving the video a like, maybe comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next week to two weeks. Have a good one.